Hi there, how are you? Good, I heard you were here at the finish line at the New York City Marathon, so I figured I'd ask you 21 questions. Yeah, here we are, beautiful day to be out here at the yeah. race. So, let's start. What type of photographer are you? I am a commercial photographer. I do a lot in the sports, entertainment, and corporate space. Cool, and being a photographer in sports and entertainment, how has it been getting back to it post-COVID lockdown? Are you excited everything's back? Everything is back uh, <laughs> more than ever, I think, if that's possible. Uh, yeah, so I had this, this uh, crazy thought in retrospect that once I were vaccinated, things would come back slowly and, and kind of start trickling in. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like the floodgates open. Yeah. So have just been swamped. Um, and there's so much fun stuff going on from concerts to sports to yeah. corporate stuff. Um, the world is back. And That's awesome. We are thankful. Yeah. And so tell us, what was your first camera? My first camera was the Nikon 8008. Uh, I went to Duke University and was super involved in the yearbook there and they had loaner gear and I just picked up the Nikon and, and started using it. Um, fell in love that first semester and I came home at Christmas and it was my birthday and my parents surprised me with oh, my very awesome. own Nikon <laughs> 8008 uh, for my uh, birthday and holiday gift. That's um, awesome. Have been using Nikon ever since and I think I might still have that 8008. <laughs> uh, it's a good paperweight probably. Yeah. <laughs> and so what are you shooting with now, camera and lens? Uh, so right now I have uh, the Nikon D6. I uh, have my 105 on here today for uh, portraits just uh, around at uh, pre-race type Stuff. Sure. Um, then tomorrow at the race, I'll have uh, my Nikon D6, uh, 14 24, 24 to 70, 70 to 200. I'll have the, the full, the full gear out. <laughs> um, and uh, hopefully, we'll get a Z9 soon enough. But yeah. uh, still, let's still manifest going. it. <laughs> yes. Um, still uh, on the D6, which is certainly uh, pretty good, pretty good shape with that. Yeah, it'll do. Yeah. <laughs> And so what's it like shooting with such great athletes? Yeah, so I am really fortunate and shoot people who are the best in the world at what they do. Um, some of them are athletes, some of them are business executives. It might be a world renowned chef, but uh, for me, I just like shooting people who are the best in the world at what they do because it makes me bring my A game. Yeah. And so tell us what's your go-to camera and lens now? Uh, so right now here, I have the Nikon D6 and I have my 105 with me, probably do some portraits later. Um, tomorrow at the race, I'll have uh, 14 to 24, 24 to 120, uh, 70 to 200, uh, two bodies, I'll be The whole rigged. lineup. <laughs> yeah, full lineup, yeah. rigged and ready to go. Um, but. I really can't wait to get my hands on the new Nikon. Z9. Yeah, I saw you in our latest video on our channel. That looked so much fun. Yeah, um, I'm a little bit cleaner today, um, <laughs> so that's good. Uh, but yeah, that camera is amazing, and they, they kind of teased us a little bit, and uh, and we used it for a couple of days. Yeah, um, and had a blast using it, and, and can't wait to get it back. That's awesome. So what I noticed about your images is that it looks like the subject is always having fun being in front of the camera and it makes them seem so relatable and not just like these big stars. How did you master your own style? Yeah, so I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> um, just uh, people will often comment about how vibrant and colorful and fun my pictures yeah. feel. And, uh, we're all so lucky to be in this industry and doing what we do. I just try not to, to be so, so serious about it. Um, you know, I'm sometimes photographing professional athletes who are 20, 21 years old. They're, yeah. they're just kids and, and they want to have fun. So I, I try and uh, let them have fun. Sure. You don't just shoot, right? Tell me about Drawbridge Digital and your workshops. Yeah, so Drawbridge Digital is a technology solutions company. Uh, it is woman and veteran owned. I am the woman. My business partner is the veteran. Uh, and we manage the full life cycle of content creation, everything from uh, assignments and content creation to automated workflows and distribution to long-term archiving and pretty much every step in between. Cool. Uh, not something I ever anticipated doing, but 
the engineers have developed some amazing tools and I use all of them and it makes my life easier, <laughs> so I'm so thankful. Uh, I also uh, teach workshops with Summit Photo Workshops and that is pretty much uh, photo camp for photo nerds. Mm -hmm. And so all of you photo nerds out there, you know who you are, Summit Photo Workshops, amazing. Uh, <laughs> so much fun, uh, have done in-person and virtual and really um, just a blast with uh, great instructors and students and photo geeking out for days on end. Um, and then with Nikon, have been doing some speaking with them for the last few years and then in-person projects. They're not all as wild and crazy as rolling around in the mud <laughs> yeah. with B&H, um, but uh, really such an honor to be asked to be a part of anything having to do with Nikon. I've been using them for a long time yeah. since my days at Duke <laughs> and um, they, uh, they're good people. That's awesome. And so you do so many things, wear so many hats, but what is your absolute favorite part of what you do? I think the favorite thing about my job is that it never feels like a job, so yeah. I am so fortunate for that. Every day is totally different, dealing with different people, dealing with different projects, and it keeps me on my toes, and I love everything about that. Yeah. And so you primarily shoot portraits, but have you ever shot live games? I know you're shooting the marathon, but any other games? Yep, so I uh, have done my fair share of live action sports, do, um, do a lot of them in fact, but really my passion is uh, portrait work and documentary work. I just like being uh, closer to people. I like, uh, I like it when my longest lens on a job is a 70 to 200 yeah. and when I can uh, use my 105. I, I like being able to speak to my subjects, I think is really more than anything um, why I like doing the, the more intimate and, and yeah, direct work. I agree. Work. Cool. And so you also do some personal projects as well. Tell me about them. Yeah, so personal projects, I feel like there's, there's two different types. There's uh, the kind that I'm interested in something and I'll, I'll just spend a day or a week or a month and, and just shoot. Um, you know, Women Who Hunt was something that I did recently and uh, spent the day with Women Who Hunt because I just thought that was sort of cool. Yeah. And then uh, there are the other projects where um, it's me, uh, it's me giving back mm -hmm. and uh, that's actually how I got involved with shooting the marathon. A bunch of years ago I got involved in Cycle for Survival which is Memorial Sloan Kettering's uh, movement to beat rare cancer and indoor cycling events that uh, at the time were just in Manhattan. Um, I got involved, started shooting a little bit and that has exploded and grown uh, to where I've produced probably 500 wow. plus shoots for them all uh, all at, as with me donating my time. Sure. Um, wow. And that to me is uh, a passion project and something I'm really, uh, I strongly believe in and I love to do those. And, and from that uh, came, uh, came the New York Marathon. Um, it's Fred's team, which is the other arm of MSK and they're not profit. Yeah. Well, now it makes sense why you're yeah. so busy all <laughs> of the time. <laughs> okay. So switching it up a little bit. What are some tips for someone who wants to create portraits of athletes or artists, but maybe a little intimidated? Yeah, so totally understand the intimidation factor. When I first started shooting, I was scared to talk to people. So it's who kind was of your first ironic. big shoot? Wow, I'm gonna date myself. My <laughs> first big shoot uh, was Slam Magazine. Um, it was uh, it was the cover for them, and it was the starting five for the Nets, who were in New Jersey then. That's how <laughs> yeah. much I'm dating myself. It was on film. Um, so uh, I, I would say um, it's scary sometimes to be working with professional athletes, but mm -hmm. you don't have to start out shooting professional right. athletes. Rod Marr, a uh, fellow uh, photographer friend, um, I'm gonna steal his expression, but <laughs> his expression is make the big time where you are. So you don't have to shoot pro athletes. You're not gonna get the opportunity to shoot pro athletes when you first start out. Right. So make beautiful portraits of high school players, mm -hmm. of college players, of, uh, of local chefs in your favorite restaurant. They don't have to be world renowned. Yeah. Just make it big in your world. Right. Um, get the kinks worked out that way. And as you grow, <laughs> you'll be so much better for having started on those small projects. And 
Anyone who does hiring knows that if you can make a beautiful portrait of your uh, of your local barista, that you're going to be able to do a beautiful portrait of anyone. Absolutely. It doesn't really matter who it That's is. That's great. So what has been some of the coolest shoots you've ever been on? Good gosh, I am, I am lucky every day of my professional career that I have been able to do so many amazing things. I often feel like I'm getting paid to be here and there are also people who would pay to be here. So <laughs> that I know um, I'm at a cool shoot and there are so many of them. Yeah. Um, I, the one that, that always jumps to mind is uh, a bunch of years ago, Nike had me come out to their Portland campus when Barack cool. Obama visited. Wow. Um, and I photographed that. that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And what has been one of the most challenging shoots? Whoo! <laughs> uh, they're all challenging yeah. in different ways. Um, Thankfully, I, I try and do a lot of research before I go out on a shoot and, and plan, plan, plan. And I feel like you just have to be flexible and then the challenges don't seem quite as challenging as right. they could be. Yeah. Favorite athlete you photographed? Favorite athlete I photographed? Oh, I can't play favorites here, <laughs> but I might say LeBron. <laughs> nice, yeah. And bucket list shoot. They are all bucket list shoots. I mean, for real, uh, I, I said it before. Um, I, I get paid to do things that people would would pay to be at. So yeah. they're all bucket lists. Studio or on location? Oh, definitely on location. I love <laughs> being in the studio, but um, I also love, uh, love having options. And uh, I feel like when you have the whole world around, yeah. so many more options. And you've been to so many different locations and shot at Hi so there. many different tournaments. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Making friends. Yeah. <laughs> and so you've been to so many different locations and tournaments and shows. What's your favorite location? So in life and in work, the more remote, the better. Um, get me out of the city. Get me out of a town that you have that you've heard of and I like the places in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. that you otherwise would never have a chance to be at. Uh, those are my favorite. Yeah. And if you weren't a photographer, what would you be? I think if I weren't a photographer, I would still want to be uh, an entrepreneur, small business owner, because I really feel like that is what I am yeah. as, uh, as an independent photographer. Um, Maybe something in the nonprofit space, uh, but but definitely uh, definitely something that was different every day. Yeah. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? So, I'm big into quotes. Uh, maybe we count that yep. as advice. Absolutely. Uh, there is uh, there is a sign at Arthur Ashe's statue at the U.S. Open tennis tournament that I see pretty much every day when I'm walking in. And it says, from what we get, we make a living. From what we give, we make a life. That's and awesome. I really like that one. Yeah. Uh, have a magnet on the fridge that says, life is a journey, not a destination. I like that one also. Um, I got quotes on quotes on quotes, <laughs> but those, those are two good ones. Yeah, that's great. And aside from your camera, what's your favorite piece of gear? Aside from my camera, well, I don't yet have the Nikon Z9, so maybe I'll make that my favorite <laughs> yeah. piece of gear. Um, I love my Profoto V1s. Yeah. Um, I never realized how much I disliked power cords and extension <laughs> cords, but I feel like I'm so much more motivated to light with the V1s mm -hmm. because they're so easy to use and portable and yeah, love them. Yeah. And tough question, but if there were to be a movie about your life, who would play you? I am regularly teased by my family and friends that I am the most poorly versed uh, movie watcher on the planet. So I'm not sure that I could actually come up with anyone that would make sense on a really great day. Um, I have heard that I look a little bit like Jennifer Garner, ultimate okay. ultimate compliment. Yeah. Um, if, uh, if I were to pick someone, I spend a lot of time on the Peloton, maybe we go Emma Lovewell. Okay. Um, Emma, how, how's the acting going? Yeah. <laughs> Interested in playing me? Um, but uh, I, I actually read uh, much more than I watch movies. Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, I, I would say- It's a tough uh, one. It's a funny question yeah. for me. <laughs> So, last question, who should we interview next? Cool, I like that question. <laughs> yeah. um, 
Yeah, so um, Tyler twins are good friends of mine. Mariel and Catherine Tyler are crushing it in uh, the photo world right now. Love them. Cool. Uh, have known them for a long time. Um, Kenneth Mormon is a good friend. He is an amazing photographer out of Portland and uh, just does beautiful uh, work outdoors in the studio. Um, good human, great photographer. Um, yeah, so many good people to choose yeah. from. Could well, go on we'll for days. take that list and we're going to contact all of them. Awesome. Love well, it. thank you so much. I know you have a lot of prepping to do for the marathon and thanks so much. Excellent. See ya. Bye bye.